Good morning, good morning. We are at Huguenot, um, is it Huguenot Park? Huguenot Memorial Park. Huguenot Memorial Park. We got here last night. We got here at a pretty good time. A lot of times when we arrive to the campsite, it's really dark, but it was still um, light outside. So we decided to cook some hamburger steaks that we brought pre-made from home and ate that, watched some things on our iPad and then just relaxed. And now we're up and we're gonna be making some simple omelet for breakfast and we're gonna head out to the beach but the cool thing about this um campground and the beach is or this park and the beach is that you can drive your vehicle on the beach not a lot of places um let you do that or like in was it in north carolina yeah the outer banks you, you can do it at the outer banks but it, it's like a 50 dollar permit for I think the most minimal is a month or a week maybe and so if you only go and do it for two days you have to buy that permit but here um as long as you come into the park there's no extra charge which is nice so we're gonna drive our jeep onto the beach and hang out at the beach we brought a couple of fishing poles um we don't we have no idea how fishing is here but we thought we'll just cast some lures out there see what happens and just have a simple beach relaxed day and we are actually our site is right by the road um, and we've been seeing a lot of cars drive by this morning I think they're like all heading to the beach this is our campsite there's a lot of campsites that are like along the along the road and there's some really cool spots in the front um, where it's like um, right by the bay water. We'll show you some of those um, later on in the video as well. We're right by the playground. Show how big the site is. <laughs> so the site, good point. The site is like really big. So. Our campsite is really big. We got all the space. <clears throat> but as you know, our our um, camper is really tiny, so we only take up a little part of the space. But if you have a big camper and you have a lot of stuff, this will be like a great site. We're right by the camp. I mean, we're right by the um, playground. And the bathrooms are like right there. And the bathhouse is like right behind it and one thing I found out is everything is great at this campground so far but I have to say the bathrooms are not very great so keep that in mind if you don't have bathrooms in your RV um, it's not like horrible but it um, it's not great <laughs> and um, another thing about the bathroom or this area is you smell the sulfur a lot in the water so when i first went to the bathroom i was like oh my gosh the bathroom stinks it smells like rotten eggs and i i forgot about the sulfur and um in florida and then ralph reminded me that's the sulfur in the water but it kind of feels weird when you go to the bathroom because it smells like rotten eggs so yeah So one other thing about this campsite is it doesn't have water hookups. So I pre-washed all the vegetables and packed it in Ziploc bags and see like this and then even some fruit. So we don't have to worry about washing it here. So they're all ready to go. We just got to chop them and cook it.
you won again. <laughs> Why is it so pretty? I think the gas running out helped me out a little bit. <laughs> yeah. You have to let me win every once in a while. <laughs> driving on the beach uh, in Outer Banks with um, parents, dad's truck, but we haven't taken out this Jeep on the beach before, so it'll be our first time in the Jeep. Woohoo! Let's go. showers sparkling clean Ooh. i smell do i smell okay <laughs> you smell like rotten, ro rotten eggs, rotten eggs. <laughs> sulfur water um yeah we we're back and now we're prepping for dinner uh we're gonna be cooking takarbi uh it's korean spicy chicken 
Ralph and I call it fire chicken sometimes because uh, we, we try to make it kind of I don't know we make it pretty spicy so um, but you can control the you know type of pepper you use and um, uh, how much pe uh, pepper flakes you put in and stuff and can kind of control the spicy level depending on how you like it uh, but we pre wash like all the vegetables at home and I even pre-made the sauce at home so if you want the recipe to the sauce let me know in the comments below and I'm getting hungry so let's get to cooking Good job, baby. 